Okay, group two. So today we're going to be looking at investigating insulating properties. So our activity today, I will explain later on in this video what we need and how we're going to complete this investigation. So we're going to be looking at how we are able to trap a layer of air to provide extra insulation. For an example of this is how birds are able to do this by fluffing up their feathers and by creating a layer of air in their between their skin and their feathers. So birds are able to survive this way in the winter by trapping a layer of air. I am going to show you a short YouTube clip where it explains why birds are able to do this and how they're able to survive. Is that birds look much bigger in the winter than in summer? Often people think it's because they fattened up and while yes, they do pack on a little extra weight, this isn't the only thing making them appear plumper. Another contributing factor is a behavioral adaptation called fluffing. To add more insulation, they fluff out their feathers to create tiny pockets of air between their skin and feathers. These air pockets are warmed by the bird's body. The more trapped air, the warmer the bird. You were probably so this is a prime example of how birds are able to maintain their insulation and how to keep warm and survive in very cold temperatures. This is exactly what we are going to do for our experiment today. So we, our resources that we need for this lesson is a bowl of water, ice, plastic gloves, straws, thermometer, elastic bands, a mask and tape. So what we are going to do is with our bowl of ice, we are going to record the temperature of the water. Then we're going to use the bowl of ice water and place your hand into the water and record how long you can keep your hand in the water before it gets too cold. Next, we're going to put on two pairs of gloves. One, they are both very light pairs of gloves, so be careful when you're putting them on that you don't put a hole in them. So first, we're going to put on a plastic glove. We're going to then insert the straw and then put on another glove and seal this using an elastic band or mask and tape. Next, we are going to blow a layer of air into the glove, glove and keep this inflated, ensuring to cover the hole of the straw to ensure that the air doesn't escape. Keeping the glove inflated, you are then going to put your hand into the water and record the time that you can spend in the water with a layer of air in this glove. We are then going to record the data from the experiment ensuring to record the process using their iPads as we're going to screen share at the end when we are presenting this information.